Today we're going to talk about FCT, the Festo configuration tool from Festo, uh, which is used to configure drives and uh, vision systems and some other uh, products that they have. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to start up the FCT software here and open up a, a project. And uh, I'm just going to open up a, one of many projects here. And what we're going to talk about today is backing up and restoring or the way Festo calls it is archiving or extracting uh, the project files. So, you know, you've done your configuration, you've, uh, or you've uploaded the configuration, so on and so forth, and you now want to save your project so that you can use it later uh, down the road or ar archive it for, you know, project use and so on and so forth. So, you've got a project here, you're in the project yourself, uh, the first thing to understand is that uh, when you install the FCT software, there are some uh, some base folders. So during the installation, it says, hey, where do you want me to put my projects and where do you want me to put the archives that I create? So um, you can select to um, customize that, which is what I've done. You know, I've got a work files directory and I've chosen to use FCT archives and projects. So these are my default projects. After the installation, all you can do is change the project directory. You can come up to the project base folder. You can move this uh, around here. And uh, as you see here, it is selecting the FCT projects directory. Uh, so you could change a different directory to projects, but you can't change where it archives to that, that I know, know of anyway. So when you go and you just do defaults, it'll go to the default directory. So um, this little thing right here. So I'm just going to put this right here and hold it here for a second. So these are the default folders. Okay. So the software installation, I never change. The project repository or the project folder I just showed you, that's that's the directory it sh shows us their program files, Festo FCT data projects. And this could be the x86 directory too, depends on your operating system. And then the archive folder, this is the thing. So you need to understand where those are, and that's a good starting point. So the uh, the first thing I'll show you here is how to archive a project. So in the project menu, you've got two features right here. You've got archive and extract. Okay, on some older versions, so you know this is FCT version one three zero four one and CMMP AS plugin version four uh, two eight zero five five four. These names right here might be called different on some very older systems like Archivate and and some other weirder uh, text. So I'm just going to say Archive. And if I just say OK right now, it'll put it in the default directory. So I'm going to go to my Ar FCT Archives directory, which is empty here. And I'm going to do the default directory. I'm just going to say OK, do it. and Look in the background here, so it's it's doing it. You get the OK, and there's the zip file. So it basically takes the uh, project name that you have configured right here, you know this this right here, and it revs it based on what it needs to do, and it creates the zip file. Keep it in the zip file. Okay, don't unzip the file or something like that. This is the format that it needs to transport to another PC or to extract it later. Uh, you can look in the file. I mean, uh, it's, it gives you a couple different things, um, but uh, keep it zipped, okay? So I'm going to delete that now and show it again. Now, if you don't know where your default directories are, which is pretty common for most people, you select the archive. Um, what you can do here is do this little checkbox here, so a special folder. And you know your folder system more than anyone else, so you click on this little double arrow, triple arrow, and you come down here, and you're going to select where you want to put it. So say I want to put it in my downloads directory. Um, I just say OK, and now it's selected that folder for a special. I hit OK, and it gives me OK like usual. And now I go to my downloads directory, and I will find the file there. Okay, so that's how you archive or back up. Okay. Um, 
no, I'm not going to delete that. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to extract a file. So I'm going to delete this project, okay? Because I've already got a backup of it. All right, and now I have no project with that name. So now I want to extract that project, and which means you know it, you want to point to the zip file and open it up. So extract. So immediately when it comes into this window here, it's looking for the default directory. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel. It's going to show you um, that if I move that file, so this one right here, copy. If I put it in the default directory, which is right here, and then I go to extract that. So extract, see, it's already there. So it's looking in the default directory. All right. Um, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to delete that. And let's say somebody just gave you a file, or it's in a project directory in some database somewhere. So you come up to here, you do extract. You have nothing to choose from. Well, there's a search button right here. And with the search button, you come into here and you say, okay, where do you want to find it? I happen to be pointing to the downloads directory. Come over here, click on it, and it will extract the file and create a project within here. And typically it's the first one. And then you can open it up and away you go. So that's a little bit how you archive or save or extract or restore projects in the FCT configuration, the, uh, this tool right here. And well, it's going to do base folder options. So there's another thing that's a nuisance, this little thing right here. If you turn that off, then I won't open up the last project every time. And you can actually choose from your projects. And that's all I'm going to show you for today. Thank you. Hopefully this helps you and thanks.